so let's begin with our very first topic which is what is risk so friend if i ask you what is risk anybody want to share what is risk so basically friends risk can be defined as the combination of probability of particular event probability means any likelihood okay so probability of an event and because of that event if there is any consequences right so that is what we called as a risk so risk is probability or likelihood of a particular event and its consequences there is one more definition of risk which uh, you don't find generally in the book which is risk is like when threat coupled with vulnerability is risk okay now here you need to understand one thing i said when threat coupled with vulnerability if there is no vulnerability there is no risk if there is or rather i would say if there is only threat there is no risk if there is only vulnerability let's say let me put it like this if there is no threat no vulnerability there is no risk if there is no threat but vulnerability is there no risk if there is threat there is no vulnerability there is no risk when this is threat and there is a vulnerability only this case we can say there is a risk right so this is a basic understanding of risk this concept will help you to solve couple of question while you attempt to give the cism exam all right to explain this concept in more detail let me quickly give you a, a, a example which help you to understand this in much detailed okay so let me okay i was just trying to erase these things just give me a sec okay now i think this should erase yeah all right so let's say uh, there are two jungles okay let me change the color of uh, my pen just give me a sec So now let's say there are this is one forest this is forest 1 and let's say this is forest 2 Now inside this forest there are many tigers So these are what these are tigers plus in this forest there are certain ships or goat okay so these are goats right so this is a situation where tiger can attack to these goats and uh, they may kill this goat okay and eat it something like that right so now in this scenario let's try to understand this concept of risk okay so the very first definition what i explain is risk is probability of an event right probability of an event so do you think the probability of attacking this tiger to this goat is high or low is very high plus in that case what is the consequences consequences will be very severe right so again this is very high or uh, in fact there is a uh, chance of uh, uh, they may lose their life also so this is very severe okay so d- uh, if i ask you do you think there is a risk answer is yes because 
probability is also there and consequence is also there right so there is a risk right now in this second definition if i say do you think there is any threat yes this tiger itself is a threat i am talking about in scenario of threat and sorry in, in terms of tiger and goat do you think there is a vulnerability yes there is a lots of vulnerability the, there is a no protection of these goats right that means anybody can come in this group and attack any one of the goat so vulnerability is there yes threat is there yes means this is one this is one so there is a risk yes the risk is also there okay so so in this case we can see when threat comes when there is a vulnerability then there are chances of exploitation followed by having a risk now as i said earlier if there is no threat okay that means if this is zero but vulnerability is there i am saying there is no risk okay so let's say threat is what threat is tiger here right let me change the color let's say if i move this tiger from forest 1 to forest 2 here then do you think there is a risk see here in this case if there is a there is a threat no because tiger itself are not there in this forest one right so if tiger is not there their chances of attacking on these goats are also uh, very less or no no attack or no threat on these goats so threat itself is not there vulnerability is there yes these goats are still uh, you know walking in this complete forest without any protection means vulnerability is there but threat itself is not there means there is a no risk that's what i was trying to explain here in this scenario now let's try to have this threat but we remove this vulnerability okay so the scenario next will be let's say there is a threat but there is no vulnerability and i am saying in that case there is a no risk okay okay so let's assume tiger has not moved from forest 1 to forest 2 means threat is there but vulnerability is not there means what i did i create a cage or rather steel cage this is steel cage or wall which protects these goats okay so that means there is no vulnerability nobody can enter inside uh, this cage or this wall right so threat is there but vulnerability is not there means there is no risk on this goat right so basically what i did i just put a wall wall here means what this is what we can say exposure area exposure area earlier they are exposed to everyone but now i have put there is a restriction right there is, we have just limited the exposure of these goats right so exposure area is less so in this case threat is there but vulnerability sorry threat is there and but there is no vulnerability that's why there is no risk all right so hope this is clear about understanding of what is risk now there is one more concept let me just remove this so basically next point is where i am saying risk is directly proportion to the consequences higher the consequences higher the risk lower the consequences lower the risk right or when i say consequences it means impact so greater the consequences or impact there is a greater risk all right so this is the short example to explain what is risk what is threat and what is vulnerability 
and what is the relation between them this will help you to solve couple of question during the exam okay now let's see next topic which is exposure 